Winter's coming, guys, and I gotta get this coop done. <laughs> oh yeah, big red. You show him. I'm under the gun. I gotta get this thing done. <laughs> How you doing, guys? Chad here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Chronicles of a Farm State Startup here at the Hidden Spring Farm. You can see I got all the roof done, guys. I got the shingles done on the cupola, on the second tier, and on the first tier. And it's looking good. All I gotta do now is put the fascia boards on, I gotta do the hardware cloth, and I gotta finish the coops. <laughs> As you guys already know, I have Elvis and his hens in here. Then in here I have the pullets and the cockerels. There's light Sussex, hens and roosters. And there's black leghorn, hens and roosters. The light Sussex, those are all Michael Jackson's kids. And the black leghorns, those are all Elvis Presley's kids. So by the end of today's episode, I wanna have this coop completely finished. And I want Big Red and his girls to be moving over here so let's hope I can get her done three hens have been inside this new coop for almost a month and although they look comfortable they're crowing and they're cooing and they're making lots of cluck sounds they haven't laid an egg in a month between three hens is that normal are they just still getting relaxed inside their new coop or are they still <laughs> or are they still stressed out because of the move I don't know, but I want to get Big Red in this coop that I've been working on right here. I still got to do some of the front boards. <laughs> Sorry. And I have to work on the nesting boxes. I've been using this milk crate for the nesting boxes and it's working out pretty good. It's easy enough to use. This would be easy enough to clean out because it's plastic rather than wood. And uh, these are very abundant anyhow. So I got four of them and I'm going to go ahead and saw them up to make the shape that I need for the nesting boxes.
I'm making the nesting boxes for these chickens with these milk crates. And I've seen a couple different methods of turning these milk crates into nesting boxes. One method is that you leave the top open and then you cut out a big square right here and then the chicken can go in or in. Maybe they don't feel as enclosed like this. But the method that I'll be using is like this. So I'll have access to the open side and then I'm gonna cut out an area for the chicken to hop in and do her nesting in there. What I use to cut out this plastic here is just my jigsaw. It's the most versatile tool. You can turn it and twist it and shape it and it's useful. Kind of running out of time to get this whole chicken house completed. 
before winter. Winter's coming, guys. Fast, 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 fast. So basically, if I can finish all the exterior walls of the coops, then at least whatever chickens are in here are not gonna be blasted with wind. Because the last thing you want in a chicken house is a draft. Chickens can pretty well keep themselves warm. They have feathers, they puff themselves up, but they don't want to be in the wind. You don't need any drafts. So this plexiglass going on that window will stop any wind from coming in. And then really, I only have two more sides to do. Yeah. <laughs> There's Fozzie. He's coming to keep me company. Fozzie! Fozzie! He's really getting to know the farm, guys. He's doing great. I got these two front windows in. I got a little frame built and then a nice plexiglass and that won't let any wind in. It's pretty durable. This third coop that I'm working on, I got all of these exterior boards on. The only thing I'm missing are the battens. I got the window frame in and I got this plexiglass in. So again, it's really strong. The only thing it's missing is some caulking to seal it up. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> this works. Nice little prison for the chickens. Now all I gotta do is go on and get red and get all his hens. I think I have three or four in there already. She was really hard to get. She's really struggling. She doesn't want to get picked up. But too bad, she's going to her new coop. Here's Big Red, guys. The last chicken to move. Look at him. Look at this guy. He's a stud muffin. Take it easy, Red. Take it easy, fella. Okay? You're okay, buddy. You're okay. I'm putting you in your new house. Looks like Big Red's enjoying his new coop. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, eh? And if you're not already, why don't you give us a subscribe, eh? Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care, okay? Uh -oh.